Do you want to see the top 10 items from my channel for 2023? Then keep watching. Hello everyone, it's me Serena. Thank you so much for stopping by. I asked, you answered. You said you did want to see the top 10 picks from 2023. Some great items are on this list and the good news is most of these items are still available. And if they aren't, I bet they will be back soon with this year's version of that item. So I will have everything linked down below in the description as I always do, along with my height, weight, sizes, etc. So to find that description box, you're going to want to either tap on the screen you're watching. That will pop up the video title. Tap the video title and that description box will pop up to the side. Or if you're watching me on, you know, a tablet or something and it's not full screen, just tap the title underneath the video and that will open up the description box and you might have to hit more again to get it to open up fully. But that's where everything is in today's video. Video. I'm doing something a little bit different this year. Instead of just giving you a rundown of all the items, I'm actually taking those items and I'm styling them in new outfits for you. So you can see some new outfit ideas, new combinations. So you get to see several different looks today. And in this first look, I'm actually combining two of the top 10. This is number nine and number 10. Number 10 is this pair of vintage slim straight jeans from J. Crew. Y'all have loved these jeans. I didn't even introduce these until the fall when I discovered them. And once I did, they became quickly one of my most popular jeans to wear myself. The fit is great. They have a nice slim leg, but it's not like a skinny because you do have room around your knee and it's not tight around your calves and ankles. So it's a slim straight fit. So if you love skinnies, but maybe want to branch out a little bit, this is a great jean to try. Pocket placement is great. The pockets aren't small or anything. They look nice and they have a full length zipper. Y'all know that's a pet peeve of mine when high rise jeans have a little weird short zipper. It just looks so cheap. So these have a nice long zipper and I'm wearing it with this v-neck navy colored forever sweater from Banana Republic. We'll get to these in a little bit later in the video. And I topped it off with number nine, the Chelsea sweater blazer from J. Crew Factory. This has been a bestseller on my channel this year, and it is a favorite for a good reason. It is just that perfect mix between a cardigan and a blazer. It's just a little step up from a cardigan, looks a little bit neater. It's a nice mid-weight layer, great to layer over t-shirts or these lightweight sweaters like I have on here. And I'm rounding out the outfit with these chain detail loafers, this cognac color toaster bag from Portland Leather Goods, and some jewelry that I'll go over in just a second. The jewelry that I'm wearing in this look, I went with gold. I think gold just looks really great with navy and camel or cognac colors. So the earrings are some chunky hoops. Chunky hoops are going to be very on trend for 2024. And I'm wearing these with this this uh, paperclip necklace, I've had this for a long time. It's from Target. I will go ahead and link it down below. I think it's still available. And then this layered bracelet from Victoria Emerson. So that just really goes a long way when you're wearing a pretty basic outfit like this. You've got to remember your accessories to make everything look polished. I also have my Kendra Scott watch band and a belt from Target. Let's see what's next. Okay, this next look features top seller number seven and number eight. Number seven are these air stretch taper pants from Banana Republic Factory. I love these and y'all have too. They are a super thin, lightweight, quick drying fabric, making them perfect for three seasons out of the year. They're probably not the best choice for winter right now because these are not going to keep you warm, but they're 
very cool in the heat and they make for perfect travel pants because you can pack them up in a suitcase. They don't take up hardly any room and they're very versatile. Here in this first look, I'm wearing them with a blazer and loafers and this is definitely office appropriate. The blazer, I'll get to it in a, an upcoming outfit, but this is very professional and I think you could wear this just about into any office, especially if you're on a business trip and need a pair of pants that are going to serve dual purpose or multi-purpose. These are a great choice, but they're also great for more casual outfits. So here I've got them on with my P448 sneakers and this sweater blazer. This is the schoolboy sweater blazer from J. Crew Factory and a scarf around my neck. I wore this outfit or something very similar to it when we were in uh, the Netherlands earlier this fall and is so warm and cozy and is just a great way to dress when you're out traveling because you've got on layers to keep you warm and unless you're somewhere really cold and need a top coat or a raincoat th this can get you through a lot of different climates but they're very comfortable stretchy and of course the forever sweater y'all have seen these in a ton of my videos they are just a step up from a t-shirt look a little bit more polished than a tee but they're still very lightweight and thin and perfect for layering and they are a cotton blend so they're very very soft and you can just wash them in cold and air dry the sweaters so these are number seven and number eight. Oh, and the purse i have just fallen in love with this little purse from j crew it is not from the top 10 but it's the Edie crossbody bag and it is just the perfect size to hold all your essentials and it, this shiny black leather can be very dressy but you can dress it down with casual outfits as well so it's a very versatile bag and a great size let's see what's next in one of my recent videos i got a lot a lot of comments about the topic of the video and a lot of y'all felt like I didn't really cover the topic and it was this one things I'm not wearing in 2024 and I did talk about the things that I'm not going to be wearing this year but I think a lot of people took that as maybe a trends video like things that are out of style in 2024 so I'm asking you do you want me to do a video for trends for this year things that are in or out a video like that I know that a lot of youtubers are going to be creating similar videos if they haven't already so there's bound to be some overlap but if you want me to do one of those videos about you know what's in for this year what's out let me know and I will do a video dedicated to that topic so number six top bestseller we're skipping it for now because you're going to see it in an upcoming outfit but it is something that has been on my channel for about three at least two years now and it's a bestseller every year so see if you can guess what it is but right now we're going to look at bestseller number five and that is this houndstooth patterned blazer from free assembly at walmart you guys loved this blazer and it is a great one it's just a great standard fit it's not oversized really or anything like that it's a little bit long but it has this black and cream houndstooth pattern with a little bit of gold running through there so a great neutral here i'm wearing it over another one of those forever sweaters from banana republic factory this black one and some vintage slim jeans these are from gap so one way you can update skinny jeans which these are not a true skinny because they're not you know tight around the ankles and they're not completely tight around my calves either but one way you can update this jean silhouette is with a longer or slightly oversized blazer and some chunky shoes either a chunky chelsea boot of some sort or like i'm wearing here a chunky loafer these loafers are also available at walmart or they were i will link them i don't know if they're sold out or not but they're super comfortable and they're cute with dresses skirts jeans pants really anything and they are a great way like i said to update your skinny jeans as for the jeans like i said these are from gap and these are another really good pair of jeans and these have sold really well on my channel this year also they just didn't make it to the top 10 but they have a high rise and a nice long zipper <laughs> which you guys know i love the pocket placement is great and the pockets are nicely sized you know they're not they're not too low they're not too high and they're big enough so they're not going to make your backside look bigger by being little tiny small pockets so these have been a great seller on my 
channel too and I'm wearing them in a size 6 regular not petite so you'll just have to check your inseam on these jeans measure your own inseam because even though I'm 5'2 I wear a lot of regular length jeans because I'm very short-waisted and all my height comes from my legs so check your inseam and then order your jeans accordingly have you ever seen an outfit or an item in one of my videos that you liked but you couldn't remember what video it was in then the best way to catch up with all my different outfit ideas and things you've seen here on my channel is to follow me on the Light like to Know It app. I post on there every single day and I post a lot of things over there that you will never see on my channel. I post collages, sale alerts, things like that. And in the LTK app, you can tap on a look. If you like it, you can hit that heart and save it for later. If you want to buy something that's in that outfit, you just scroll down and all the items are listed out underneath each picture of the outfit and you just tap on the item that you're interested in buying and it will take you straight to that retailer's website. You can also leave me comments on the Light to Know It app. So I try to put my sizes on everything out there but if you're looking at a post and you have a question about something hit that little message button and you can ask me a question about it and I'll respond directly to you there. So there's a lot that you can do there in that app. It just makes it real easy and everything is together in one place. So you don't have to try to remember which video did I see that in. It's all out there on LTK app. The number four bestseller on my channel this year is something that you have heard me talk about for ages. And you're probably sick of hearing me talk about them, but I'm so glad that so many of you have discovered these shoes and are enjoying them. And that is the P448 sneakers. These are the John sneakers. I have two pairs of these. I have this one. It's a little different, but I like it. It's a silver, silvery or kind of a gunmetal color, metallic, trimmed in black. And then the other pair is this white pair that has kind of a silvery toe and then a little silver detail on the back. But they're the exact same model or same size, just different looks. And these come in tons of different styles, different colors, different, you know, tongue colors or different colors on the back. A lot lot to choose from but they are so comfortable and yes they look a little bit scuffed up part of that is from me wearing them so much but also they come a little bit pre-distressed and I have worn these shoes all over the place I have walked miles and miles in these shoes and they support my feet so well they're wide enough in the toe box that they're comfortable for me even though I've got toe problems I've got bunions on my big toes and I've worn these all over New York City I've worn them all over Amsterdam Amsterdam and the Netherlands. I've worn them all over DC. I've worn them all over any city that we have traveled to since I've had these shoes. And my feet don't hurt and my back doesn't hurt at the end of the day. And they're a stylish sneaker that you can wear when you don't want to wear an athletic shoe. And in this outfit, I'm wearing these black demi boot crop jeans from J. Crew. You guys know I love these jeans. I have them in four or five different versions now. I've got black and white and and a couple of different shades of blue. But these just have the most magical tummy slimming properties. I don't know what it is, but it makes your tummy flat. And they have a good amount of stretch, but they don't stretch out. I wore these all over the place on our trips this last fall because they just go with any kind of shoe. And topping it off with this 100% cotton sweater from Amazon. I love this sweater too. It is just the perfect little cropped fit. It's not cropped showing your belly. It's just cropped. So it goes nicely with your higher rise jeans and topping it off also with this crossbody bag from MZ Wallace. This is the Pippa crossbody. It comes with three different straps and I like this wide webbing strap. This is great for if you are traveling or out sightseeing or doing anything and you want something comfortable. This wide strap is really comfortable on your shoulder. Now like I said these jeans are favorites of mine but I get a lot <laughs> of comments from viewers saying that they hate this style of jean. They don't like anything that's above the ankle and I'm just not understanding why. So please explain that to me. I think they're cute. This style of jean you can really wear with any kind of shoe and it looks cute. Flats, loafers, sneakers, booties, heels, I mean sandals, anything looks good with this leg silhouette and all the major denim brands are making this silhouette 
now, and they have been for a while. So you find it at J. Crew, Gap, Madewell, Mother Denim, you know, all the designer denim, they have this silhouette. So it's still very much on trend. So I guess I'm just trying to understand why the strong negative reaction I get <laughs> when I wear these ankle crop jeans, because I just think they're cute. So leave me a comment down below and tell me what is behind the hatred of the ankle crop jeans. I'm dying to know. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps out my channel. As you can see, my channel has been growing. I'm getting closer and closer to the big 100,000. So please help me get there. If you like watching this content and you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And if you wanna see daily content from me, be sure you're following me on Instagram or Facebook or Pinterest because I post a lot more on those platforms every single day. Outfit ideas, reels, stories, all kinds of stuff. So check me out there. We're up to number three. And remember, we skipped number six a few items back. Well, here I'm combining bestseller number three and number six. Number six are the Blondo Chelsea boots. <laughs> Y'all have seen these on my channel for two or three years now. I've had them for I don't know how long. Got them from Nordstrom and they have been like a go-to boot for me. They are waterproof as all Blondo boots are and they may not have this exact st buckle style and everything right now, but they have a version of this boot every year. So I'll be sure to have it linked. Mine are leather, but they also have suede versions too. And they're all waterproof or water resistant. So you don't have to worry about ruining them when you're out in the rain. I have worn these boots all over. These are my go-to boots when I'm going to do a lot of walking and I need something besides, you know, a sneaker. Maybe it's colder, maybe it's rainy. This is what I wear and they are so comfortable. I did size up half a size in these because I find that they run just a little bit narrow, especially through the ankle. So keep that in mind when you're ordering. But you guys have seen me wear these with so many different looks over the years. Jeans, leggings, you name it. They're great. And then number three bestseller of the year is this the Juliet collarless I think it's called the collarless cardigan from J Crew. Now this is a perennial favorite on J Crew website. It's popular every single year and there are tons of Amazon dupes of these. However, I have tried the Amazon dupes of this and nothing really comes close to this one from J Crew. Yes, they're less expensive, but the color is always off and I find that the ones on Amazon run really, really oversized. Even in a size small, it, I was swimming in it. And this one from J. Crew, it runs big too. I'm wearing this one in an extra small and you can see how much room I have underneath it. So I'm glad I went ahead and bit the bullet and got the J. Crew one because it just fits better. It's a better color and it's just nicer quality. And you guys loved it too because you made it number three. And and this outfit is just a simple, you know, this is a no-brainer outfit formula when you don't know what to wear. Wear the same color top and bottom and then throw on a jacket over it. Doesn't matter if it's black top and bottom, white, cream, gray, blue, whatever. Just wear the same color top and bottom and then find a contrasting color sweater, jacket, blazer to go on top. This top is just a little mock neck tee from Walmart. It is by no boundaries. And then the pants, I love these. These are the Stevie pin tuck pull on pants from Old Navy. They are like a legging, but they have this seam detail down the front that makes them look a little bit more dressy, a little bit more pant-like. And they are a thicker fabric. They're like a ponty knit fabric. So just a step up from your regular workout leggings. Be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what's your favorite outfit from today's video. And let me know if you have purchased any of these top bestsellers and how you like them. So be sure to leave me a comment down below. Okay, number two bestseller is the only thing that I'm not trying on. 
and you'll see why. It's because number one, I am Casper White right now. And number two, it's too cold. So number two was this sleeveless dress from Time and True at Walmart. This dress, they have it every year. If they don't have them in stock right now, just wait, they'll come back in the spring. They have them in every color. They have them in stripes, different patterns. But of course, you know me, I like classic black. And this dress is so comfortable. It hits me like mid knee or maybe right below my kneecap. And it's just a great throw on summer dress. It really feels like you're wearing nothing, but you can dress it up a little bit with, with your jewelry and accessories and, you know, wear it out to dinner or something like that. Or I've thrown this on over my swimsuit and wore it to the neighborhood pool. So there's just so many things you can do with it. And like I said, it's under $10. So tons of colors and patterns. And if you didn't get one this year, I'm sure that we'll bring it back and you'll have a chance this year. Well, it's time for number one. Do you have any guesses as to what it might be? Well, here it is. It's the CRZ Yoga Faux Leather Leggings. You know, my leggings videos always do really, really well. Y'all love different ideas of how to wear leggings over the age of 50 or 50-ish and look chic and put together. So these have been a great seller this year. I mean, they're right, right around $30. Uh, they have the same look as the expensive ones, the Spanx ones, but they're not as tight. They don't have as tight a compression as the Spanx ones, so they're more comfortable. And I like them just as well, if not better, than the Spanx. And people tend to either love or hate leggings. There's not a lot of in-between. <laughs> There's a lot of strong feelings both ways. But personally, I just love in the wintertime, I love an outfit like this of leggings, especially when they're the leather look leggings like these are with some knee boots and a tunic sweater. There's just something to me that's very badass about these kind of leggings with knee boots and then a long shirt. And this one is just from Walmart. It's a ribbed tunic top. It's a lightweight kind of sweater and it covers everything. It covers in the front, it covers in the back. So you're only left with a few inches of the leggings actually showing, but it's just a very sleek and chic, I think, outfit as far as leggings go. Now people do take leggings to an extreme and wear them as regular pants. They wear them, you know, with tight fitting tops. You see a lot of leggings outfits that would definitely be in the don't category, but I think some Something like this is definitely in the do category. And when you top it off with a little crossbody bag like this J. Crew one, again, this is just a really sleek looking outfit that you could wear pretty much anywhere. Top it off with a coat in the winter and boom, you are good to go. So I love this outfit. I love these leggings and it looks like you guys do too. Don't forget, leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite look was or what items that you have purchased out of these and how you're liking them. And until I see you guys in my next next video. Have a stylish day. Bye.